Hey there, welcome back to Spirit of a Handyman. Today, I wanna to show you a couple different ways how to test for a leak in your gas line. He's got the spirit of a handyman. A handyman. I've heard that there are three different methods you can use for testing for a leaky gas line. One, which is perhaps the least safe, is to use a lighter and uh, test for the leak. If you have a flame, you got a leak. Two is to use some soapy dishwater um, and put that around your leak. And if you get bubbles, I mean, you have a leak. And the third is to use some kind of a sniffer. Um, so this is a uh, device that I got from Amazon. I'll include a link down in the description below. Um, and I'm curious to know which of these three methods works the best at identifying a small leak in your gas line. One option is to do a flame test. So let's check that out. You can kind of see there's a little flicker right here. Let me, let me turn the lights off. You see that? See that flicker? All right. So as we tighten this up, the flame goes out. I can hand tighten it beyond that another quarter turn. The sniffer is still picking up something. It's picking up a scent even though the flame is not registering at this point. So that tells me that the flame version is not that reliable. Let's go ahead and test our soapy water. For this I'm just dabbing it with a q-tip. What this test is supposed to show is if you have a leak, you'll start to see little air bubbles around your pipe here. You see in that bubble. So now I'm curious, does the sniffer also think there's something going on here? All right, so the sniffer and the bubble test are in agreement. There is currently a leak The flame is not picking up on that leak. Always good to use some um, pipe thread sealant when you're done. That's what you got here on all of your joints. Um, this just helps lock it all in. Then tighten it down. And when you're done tightening it down, let's be overly cautious, use our sniffer, give it a little pass around the perimeter. It's not sensing anything. That's awesome. Now the, the one thing that I'm not crazy about with using something like this versus using the, the dish soap is what if this has gone bad or is not reliable? I think it's always good to test your tester. So I would do that at a kitchen stove. There's about a 30 second power up time for the sniffer where it's trying to read whether there's gas in the air. So you wanna make sure that it's not in a gas leak area. And then once it gives you the solid bar, then hold it up to a gas source. And then that'll turn red or start beeping. There you have it. Three methods on how to test for gas. One is not entirely reliable. The, uh, the lighter method does not pick up the smaller gas leaks, but um, the dish soap and the sniffer both work uh, really well. So if you just wanna have that peace of mind, um, that's definitely the way to go. I hope you found this video helpful and that it taught you a couple different things that you maybe didn't know before. And I really hope that it empowers the spirit of a handyman inside of you to get out there and try to do it yourself and learn something new. Click subscribe and stay tuned for more updates from Spirit of a Handyman. A handyman. A handyman.